Hello gamers, it's SovKitty99 in the Minecraft Creative Builds world and today I'd like to build another modern house. The materials I'd like to use are block of quartz, grey concrete, black stained glass pane, quartz pillar, quartz slab, birch fence, polished diorite, light blue glazed terracotta, and I'm just using jungle leaves to mark the edge of the border for where the house is going to be. I've cleared myself a little plot of land and I've had a think about what I want to build today. It might look kind of difficult from the floor plan here but it's really simple I promise you. You'll need a space that is 25 by 25 blocks for the house to be built in. That 25, 25 goes from this corner all the way to this final corner that I've got marked over here. The whole house is built from little cubes, so it's quite simple to build. Start with your block of quartz and come to one corner. This is going to be the front of the house where you can see my road. And I'm going to have the door right in the centre here. From the first corner, put a block of quartz and then count nine to the side including this block one two three four five six seven eight nine bring this up by nine including this first block so one two three four five six seven eight nine Come across by nine, including that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then bring it down to the ground. So you've got a nine by nine shaped little cube. Then you count across nine here and put up another block of quartz count across nine here and put another block of quartz. Bring these all up by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bring them across, which again will be nine. So everything's nine, nine, nine at the moment. So finish off your little cube with your quartz. So we're outlining the little cube in the quartz blocks. Just join up the final side here. And there we go. To the side of this, I'm going to build a little 7x7 seven seven cube. So we come diagonally from the corner there and diagonally from the corner here. Count across by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again from the front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think something went off with my dimensions over here. Ah, OK. Now I'm, I think you can guess we'll go up by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there we are. And across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And join the sections up and down from the base. So we have a 9 by 9 little cube here, a 7 by 7 little cube here, and at this side we're going to put in another 9 by 9 little cube. So come diagonally from your 7, out by one at these two corners there like so and bring that up by nine one two three four five six seven eight nine across by nine one two three four five six seven eight nine join that down to the ground so although it might have looked a little bit complicated with my ground plan it's actually very simple you build a nine by nine cube then a seven by seven cube then a nine by nine cube so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
join that together back to front and bring it down to the ground on the two corners. Join everything up nice and simple. Nice little simple geometric designs and shapes for these beautiful little modern houses. So that's the front section of the build laid out. We've got two 9 by 9 cubes and one 7 by 7 cube in between them. And we're going to do the same at the two wings of the house. Come in diagonally from your 9 to make a 7 by 7 cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and join that up and down back to front like so and across by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 join the back side of the top together and then bring the front and back down to the ground and if I've done my floor plan I have not done my floor plan quite right because this is not lining up right never mind as long as you count it fine it'll all line up in the end see I thought I'd planned it all out very nicely and I obviously counted something wrong somewhere and then we want the 9 by 9 cube again so bring it out by the corners check that you've got it in the right place 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 bring it up by 9 1 2 oops, gone up a little bit too high 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 across 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you're going to get very bored of counting 1 to 7 and 1 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 join the two up and bring all the edges down to the ground and that will be the first of the two wings all put together if I can put that in the right place thank you and bring this one down there we go so we have the front of the house so we've got a 9 by 9 a 7 by 7 and a 9 by 9 and then the wing adds another 7 by 7 and a 9 by 9 and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the house another 7 by 7 and then another 9 by 9 so come diagonally in from the two from the two corners of the 9x9 nine nine for your 7x7. Seven 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And join that up on the final side and bring all the edges down to the floor. So we just have one more cube to lay out, the final 9x9. Nine nine. So come out diagonally from the two corners of your 7 and go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Join up the final side at the top of your cubes and bring them down to the ground. Final side down to the ground and then we can start thinking about filling in. The rest of it. Oh no, I've missed one one final corner right here to bring down now you've got all the sections laid out make sure you go around and make sure that you've laid down all the sides all the way down to the ground check you've not missed any corners see I've missed a corner here bring this down to the ground make sure you've brought all your corners down to the ground on all of your cubes Yeah, I've missed one more here. And 
there we go let's back out a little bit so that you can see what we've got so we've got a three winged house made from one two three four five six seven little cubes let's look at it from the top so you've got nine by nine cubes in all the corners and they're joined on three of the sides by a seven by seven little cube If we then move to the grey concrete and come to the front of your building this little 7x7 seven seven in the centre is going to be where you're going to have your door. So we'll start with the grey concrete and we'll outline the edge oops, of the white section. I would then like to use the quartz pillar to make a little gap for where you would have your front door, like so. I would then like to put a row of the pillar quartz across the top here and add in the black stained glass across the centre section like so. Then with the birch fence I would like to put a one, two, three, no that's not right, a two high piece of the fence across here and use the quartz slab to make a little shape like so. So it looks like you've got a block here and then a half slab across here just below the window and then a little block supported on the side here. Just like so. At the front here I'm going to make a little space for a little path to my road. Just like so. And that is where my doorway is going to be. On the back of that little 7x7 seven seven section, I like to go back to the grey concrete and put the grey concrete around the edge again. I'd also like to mimic the doorway with the pillared quartz here and I'm going to pop the polished diorite like so at the back section here. Use the pillared quartz across the top again and the black stained pane to fill in that section just like so. And we're going to leave this back side of the door which will give you access into the garden area here between the house nice and plain. If we come back to the front of the house now you grab your block of quartz and dig into the ground like so I would then like to use the grey concrete in rows floor to ceiling along the two edges like so and then every other one will put in a row of the concrete all the way top to bottom and then in the gaps between them we're going to put in the black stained pane of the glass. All the way top to bottom. Fill in all the gaps. Check that you've not missed any out. And you can see what we have here. 
we're going to put in the floor to ceiling windows like that on all the open sections in all the 9x9 nine nine cubes. For the other 7x7 seven seven cubes we're going to make that a little bit different. We're going to start with the grey concrete and go all the way around the 7x7 seven seven sections. All the way around like so. We're then going to grab the quartz pillar and go across at the top and the bottom now. And then the gap in the middle we're now going to fill in with the black stained glass pane so that you get this look. I'm stuck on a tree. There you can see what I've done. So for all the 7x7 seven seven sections I'm going to do that and for all the 9x9 nine nine sections I'm going to do that. And I'll pop back once I've done that. <laughs> 